Hey what's up guys, it's your boy, that other simp27, back with another animation where I simp for women. Subscribe to Simp Alert Nation. That's that's an OG meme from the Nuru days. If you know that, you're an OG. You, you're, you deserve a veteran's discount. Today's video is actually one on Lumistar Bun, a pretty unknown character on this channel. I'm pretty sure none of you know who that is. Now today I wanted to preface making a big video on Lumistar Bun by looking at a response to the drama and all the evidence brought up against her, because she made a video called Addressing the Drama. And it piqued my interest, because hopefully your boy Toastify gets a little mention in that video. Probably because I was the first person to make this entire tidal wave of drama happen. So without further ado, grab your unpaid art commission, and let's jump into the absolute chaos that is this video. Hello everyone, my name is Lumi, and welcome back to a whole new video. So, I hate to do this, but we need to address the drama. We're only five seconds into the video, and she's already pulled the I don't want to make this video card as a way to pander and play to her audience. Probably for some kind of internet value. Good start! Uh, I assume everybody who is watching this has known about the drama and I've watched like a couple of videos of it maybe and read, read like on Twitter. But there are a lot of things wrong with this. So, when I made my apology video, it was very flawed. It was very horrible. I didn't like it. I, I was like stumbling my words. So I've taken the time to just figure out a video that I should make and this is the video. So I really hope you can enjoy it. Now Luma Star Bun citates an apology she made a few days before this video was posted which had actually been taken down by Lumistabun themselves. She says that the video was taken down because she didn't like the apology, and so responding to the drama is somehow the better way to go. Now, not only is this reason highly illogical, but it's also a lie. As shown by the screenshot on screen, Lumistabun actually made a community post saying that she removed the sorry video because people were criticising her in the comments and that she only wanted positive vibes. And to add even more on, the reason why people were criticising you in the comments was because you were trying to silence a smaller creator for making a video on you, and people thought that was scummy, so they called you out for it. Real positive vibes there, Luma Sabon. So, the first thing I wanted to pick up is the doxing. So, I never doxed anyone. If you don't know what doxing is, it's when you find personal information and then send it publicly. Luma Sabon, you are an idiot, okay? You're an idiot. Doxing doesn't necessarily mean finding someone's personal information and sending it publicly. You can send it privately as well, and it's still doxing because you're still publishing it. What makes doxing dangerous is the malicious intent behind it. And if you have malicious intent, or give it to someone else who has malicious intent, it's doxing. Even if you didn't want to leak Castile's address or pictures of Castile, which would be highly unlikely considering you both were not on good terms at the time, but if you didn't want to leak Castile's information, you're still putting someone's private information in danger. And if that has serious implications on Castile's life, you could have been held responsible for it. The only information that I had was her address and some pictures of her. Now these pictures are obviously already public, so that that couldn't be the doxing part because she has posted those before. And the address thing I only sent to one of her close friends. She can say that they weren't close, but the other friend told me they were close. So let's just break down this clip into two parts. First of all, you justify leaking someone's pictures because apparently it was public. Okay, Lumi, answer me this question then. Why would someone with more than two brain cells decide to post pictures of themselves if they don't like pictures of themselves on the internet? Oh, and let's just ignore the fact that you didn't specify that it was pictures of her and her family that were being leaked. As well as that, you say you only gave the address to a close friend, but then retracted the statement saying they aren't close, in which case would completely invalidate your defense against being a doxer because you're giving away someone's address to someone who you don't even say is a close friend. After that, you fall back on your original statement and try to back it up by saying another friend told you they were close. Which still invalidates your point, because you're having to ask so another friend if someone else is a reliable person. You're literally digging yourself into a bigger hole as this video progresses. And um, we aren't even two minutes into a five minute video. And the, the address had already been public on Twitter and stuff, so I didn't really think it was that bad. I don't think you can justify leaking someone's address by saying that it was on Twitter, because no sane person would post their own address without knowing the consequences. It must have been another person. And newsflash, people who post other people's address online are doing it maliciously. You can't justify that you dock someone by saying that the address is already on Twitter, most likely posted by someone else who had a malicious intent to dox Castile. Now obviously this was really bad and I apologise profusely for it, because you don't you send an address to someone, but again, it was private, it was not doxing. 
because doxing is sending it publicly. This was private. I can't believe I have to say this again. Whether something is doxing or not isn't decided on the visibility. Doxing can be leaking someone's personal information to the public or to someone in private. What matters is whether the intent is malicious or the person you're giving the docs to is a trusted person. The other thing I wanted to do is uh, talk about the video about light. That video didn't have any evidence, obviously, because it was a story time. It wasn't an exposing video. I would never do an exposing video because those are horrible. I hate them so much. Now, if you don't know about this, Luma Stubborn made a video on her ex-best friend Light talking about her in such a negative view. Now, in this video, she leaks the fact that Light has PTSD. So we started talking and right off the bat, she told me like, hey, I have PTSD and stuff. And that is totally cool. I got PTSD too. So I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, we can relate on something. That's great. So we started talking about that. Alludes to like being a pedophile. She met someone after months of talking about wanting to have a boyfriend. And this guy was, he was 13 <laughs> and she was 18. That's not okay. That's not okay. That, that's where my line went. And I was like, you should not talk to this person. Like, that is really weird. And he ended up being, like, ugly to her. So she stopped talking to him for that reason. But it was really weird. I don't know if he was 16 or 13. If he was 16, then I would understand it. Because the four-year rule. But if he was 13, then that's not okay. Don't do that. But I can't say for 100%. And tries to justify basically ruining someone's reputation by making the video just because she got blocked. I don't know what to do. Because I just woke up getting blocked. I tried to message her. She blocked me everywhere. So I decided to make a video ranting about it because I can't make art of her. So why not make a video? And then when she gets caught because Light actually responded to her, reacting to the video and debunking everything she said with evidence, she's now trying to hide behind the fact that she put story time in the title of the video. May it doesn't matter what you put in the title or what type of video it was. Light, Light's internet reputation was just tarnished in front of about 2,000 people. Also, it's weird how you seem to have this strong stance against exposed videos, yet your entire audience is literally built on you making an exposed video on someone else. So then there was this person called Cass who is sending a lot, a lot of hate. And she has admitted to never leaving me alone. And I didn't record the call because I didn't have my recorder ready and I didn't think she would say these things. But you're just gonna have to take my word for it. And I also have witnesses of three friends that I have, Harry, John, and Cack. So if <laughs> if you really want proof, then you just go talk to them. I suggest you not go to talk to them because I don't think they want to be involved with drama. But uh, I mean, it, I'll, I'll get them to say something about it. She has admitted that every time I make a new friend, she's gonna contact that friend, proven by John, who got contacted by her saying like, oh, Lou is a horrible person, don't talk to her, and stuff like that. She's sending this information about me to my new friends who I'm trying to like get a better view of myself with. And she just won't let me like evolve into a better person. You do realize that literally everyone that has dirt on you does that. People who think you probably should be a bit more genuine and not solve mistakes by running away. If you actually unblocked most of the people that are blocked, you'd see people actually spreading the message and stopping you from trying to avoid all this criticism by leaping over to a new account. Now I think this is disgusting behaviour, and she has proven to be a really disgusting person in the past. Here is her copying one of my artworks, here is one of copying other artworks. Oh, that is absolutely mental. Someone on the internet made similar artwork to you! That's genuinely mad. File, file a lawsuit. ASAP, file a lawsuit. Here is her telling my boyfriend to die, and here is just her being rude. Now, obviously, I don't agree with the whole harassment and toxic thing. It's not as if the world's most honest YouTuber, Luma Starbun, would ever. And Lucas commissioned someone, and then they wanted a refund, and they said that their art was trash. Toxicity at its finest. Ah, well then. <sighs> to the people that are harassing me, abusing me, all that jazz. Remember that behind the screen there is a person who is hurting a lot. Like, I'm- I don't want to put pity on myself. That's not a thing I want to do. But you need to put in, like, the mental health situation of the other person in hand. Oh yeah, I don't know if I told you, but I have autism as well, which makes it so social interactions and stuff, like, knowing when you're sorry, knowing what to say and stuff like that, it's not easy. It's really not easy, and you need to take it slow with me. I actually thought she was making a decent point about mental health, even though she over-exaggerated the criticism by saying it's harassment and abuse, until she said, 
Oh, oh, by the way, guys, I have autism. I don't think I mentioned that. I'm saying this to hide behind it and deflect criticism, use it as a reason for my actions. Autism isn't an excuse. End of story. Um, because if I do one wrong thing, someone else is going to tell everyone that I did this wrong thing and they're going to twist my words to saying something. Like I said, because it was an exposing account of my old quote-unquote enemy who got exposed and her friend her friends attacked me and stuff and she attacked me and stuff and she copied my art and stuff so one of my friends Oliver made an account uh, exposing her now I did I didn't agree with this I just provided them with some of my evidence and that was it firstly when you say people twist your words all they're doing is saying what you said people don't portray you in a negative light you portray yourself in a negative light and people bring it up and criticize stop playing the fucking victim card as for the exposing account Firstly, it was you that ran the Exposing Castile account. Secondly, if it actually was someone else, it sounds contradictory to not agree with what the account is doing, but still give them evidence to support them. And after that, they did whatever they wanted. I didn't try to stop it because I didn't really care and she had done this to me like in the past, so I didn't really mind. Now, I should probably have minded a lot because that is not a nice thing to do and you should never expose someone like that. It's personal drama whatever like it's whatever it's gonna blow over did luma stab one just accept criticism and apologize we are five and a half minutes into a six and a half minute video and luma stab one has finally taken criticism on the head this is a new world record give this person a place in the book of guinness world records this person posted images of castiel's family and stuff that's not doxing either that's public information. Those photos are on the internet. Can you shut up with this narrative you're trying to force on your critic's throat by saying you haven't doxed anyone? I think you're missing the point with doxing, despite the fact you searched up the definition on Google. Also, you can't excuse doxing someone by saying there was on the internet a very vast place with lots of information. Castillo's address and family pictures were not information that was known by everyone until we brought it up, and Castillo was definitely uncomfortable to see someone leaking their information on Twitter. So, I don't really understand this whole drama. Like, I wanna, like, get it over with and just, like, protect myself from it. I'm trying to get a YouTuber to help me with it, but they have not responded yet. But, um, yeah. So, I really hope something like this got your heart to change. And if it didn't, then that's fine too. Imagine being in such a dire situation on YouTube that you have to contact another YouTuber to back you up and defend you from drama. The reason that they're not responding is because they realise that you're fucked if you try to defend yourself. My best guess on who this person would be is Norni, because she took a neutral stance in this whole situation. She's also going to interview Lumistabun and try and help her give her side of the story. That's basically where the video ends, and that's pretty much the end of Lumistabun for the foreseeable future. She's privated all the videos and tried to rebrand to Luna Miss Rose. But I'm saving the details about her for the big video coming soon. Until then, you might be listening, Luma Stubborn, so take my advice. Realise and accept the fact you dox Castillo and apologise for it. Get some actual help and take a break. Whatever you had before wasn't working. Accept criticism and don't exaggerate it into saying there's harassment and abuse. Don't lie to your audience. If you do that, they're going to eventually figure out you're lying and lose faith in you. Don't threaten creators from making videos on you hours after posting an apology. Don't be a coward and stop trying to run away from criticism by rebranding or making new accounts. Don't play the guilt trip card when making videos addressing drama. And also, one last thing, your intro sucks. Change it.